Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my kit videos. In this kit video, we are going to look at an MK23 HPA adapter. Now, I know HPA adapters don't really sit well with a lot of people, especially when on a pistol, and especially when you're using like a big, you know, kind of EPM1 250 round mag kind of thing. Ooh, dropped it. Um, they can look a little bit funky when they're attached, and they can look a bit odd. But um, this one, uh, it was a bit of a kind of a, a, a an impulse um, purchase, if you like. I was down one of the uh, local airsoft sites, and someone was selling a AirTac um, MK23 adapter, and he was just not not able to make it work. So uh, picked it up off him. Um, pretty decent price as well, I will add. Um, and I've kind of stripped it apart since then. And um, basically the mag he was using was just complete trash. It was just knackered. So what I've done, um, I got myself a brand new TM mag. And as you can see from the hole there, absolutely butchered the thing trying to get the uh, release valve out of it. But then started putting it together. So initially built it up. Um, I was having some feed issues. It would get to about, it would do about four or five shots and then, then need a bit of a, a good kind of, one of them uh, and then it would start working then it wouldn't then it wouldn't and then i reached out to the guys at air tack obviously pretty pretty kind of you know kind of I, I converse with them fairly often you know from a lot of the high cap parts and i said look guys i'm having some problems um my bbs uh they seem to be kind of like getting stuck about you know kind of here here's my feed tube adapter and the guy said you know absolutely no problem steve uh what the problem is is that's one of the older feed tube adapter designs we have so this tube adapter it takes uh from the bottom here uh, so basically it sits there and your adapter sits kind of there Ta -da. and then the BB goes in a single stack up to here where it kind of fills out to a double stack just as it gets to the top and then it goes into your feet lips so that's actually uh, apparently an older design so um, the guys from AirTac said Steve what you need to do is you need to order one of the new design ones Ta -da. and that is a full design all the way up so what I did uh, funnily enough, I ordered one of these. So this is the newer design. This is the full design all the way up. And that is a single stack right the way through. So this is really pretty, actually. Uh, so I'm going to just slide that up and in there. Very tight fit. Love the fit on that. I love it when something just fits really well. So that's a single stack tube all the way up in there. I don't know if you can see down there. There we go. Look at that. Single all the way. I don't know if I can get to focus in there. So, uh, we need to put this bad boy together. So I thought, well, do you know what? While I'm doing it, we'll we'll do the whole thing. We'll do, we'll do a proper proper job on it. So, um, this is the actual HP adapter. So you can see it goes to an M4 mag, and basically what happens then you go click, and what happens is I I, I kind of swear at myself because I don't like using obviously and literally for all, all the time. Um, so the M4 mag fits in the bottom of that there. And then the BBs go shooting up and up through this lip here and into what is a standard mag casing. So you have effectively a big banana to hang out the bottom of your MK23. Now, it is winter at the moment, and the last time I ran my MK23, despite it you know, being quite an efficient gun, it did struggle a bit with the cold, even running a bit of red gas in there. So I really can't wait to see what it can do on HPA. So we need to build this thing up. That's what we're going to do in this video. But I'm going to kind of do a bit of mag maintenance as we go. So the first thing I need to do uh, on this is just to check this output valve. It is a relatively new mag anyway. Well, there's no relatively about it. It was brand new. Because um, I just wanted to do the job properly. Urgh. I'm just going to unscrew that out. It does help when you have the proper tools for doing this. Uh, you can do it if you wedge a couple of bits in. But I don't recommend it. That's still pretty lubed up. Uh, it's not too bad, but what I am going to do, I'm just going to re-lube that as I go. Just give it a bit of a squatch out there. Just that o-ring there. Bit on that o-ring there. Bit on that o-ring there. Just a little tiny nobble in there. And just work that around a little bit. So, unlike the clone mags, on the clone mags, when you take this out, there's a little helper spring which sits behind here which shuts it. The TM valves actually have that spring built into the release here, so it automatically forces its way up. Now, you probably could take that out. You could probably pull that through somehow. 
uh, I don't particularly care too much because in my eyes, a TM mag is always going to be the best mag you can get for an MK23. Yes, you can get Hadron lips and you can get faceless lips and you can get valves and blah, 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 blah. blah. For me, a TM setup is always going to be the best for a TM. So that's what we're going to go for. So uh, drop that on there. I don't want to do anything daft with the threads either. It is a kind of a, a brassy kind of job. And you can just see there, as I'm screwing that around, you can see the output release there. So what I'm going to do with the output release is I'm going to actually try and get it so that I get a hole upwards. So it's going to be, I'm just feeling for it locking up a bit. There we go. Perfect. So I could feel it locking up and then I've actually stopped it with the hole directly upwards. So that when that release hits, the air is just going to go whoosh, straight up. It doesn't have to like go, you know, kind of off off at an angle this way and then bounce up. It will just go straight through the router. And that's okay because we've got O-rings, we're kind of nip tight. And, and that's something I go on quite often. Um, famously, when I broke the grip screws on my high capper, just nip tight. You don't have to be like ragging it down. You don't have to be like trying to, you know, thread the casing out. Just tighten it up so you can feel it nip let the o-rings do the rest of the work for you so speaking of o-rings on to the next one and that's the o-ring which goes on this so this o-ring is actually donored from the original mag casing and that just sits straight on top now you will see there are two pins in here which i've put for safekeeping and um this isn't something you can just do with your hands so you always need some help a uh, helping hand when you do this my helping hand is an Irwin Quick Grip. Uh, you can do it. I do recommend doing it with like a, a bench vise. Um, I don't have a lot of luck doing these, so um, th this might be one of those magic of magic of TV, and it suddenly ends up together. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. But what I do strongly recommend you do is you just put a good amount, good liquor grease. I mean, this is something which you do on TM mags, uh, on all MK mags anyway. Is you end up just kind of re-greasing the inside of the shell here. And that's just to help this o-ring bed down and when you're doing an adapter like this i do just put a lot in there put a lot in there imagine it's a lucky girl so what we'll do is we'll put a little bit on there as well and we'll lube up the o-ring not really too fussed about lubing the mag adapter up uh, and then what we do is we grab the cloth we have to one side and the problem with that now uh, is that a lot of expensive stuff was sat on that cloth, namely Rex. Right, okay, O-ring is on. So you can see that, I'll just hold it up for you. The O-ring is stretched on, it doesn't fit fantastically well, but that's kind of okay, because the mag casing is going to kind of squeeze it in, squeeze it down, and the mag casing is greased. You can see all the way around there, that's greased. So not got any feed lips on that i've done that on purpose we're going to slide these two together make a nice gooey mess and then we'll just kind of press it down so far i'm just going to press that punch through and it won't quite line up now that's because there's pressure pushing back against it now you can i have seen it done if you push down really hard like this you can almost slide the uh, pins in sometimes. I have done it like that before. My wife's held, kind of like slid the pins in as I've pushed down. And then as I've got old, I've got really fickle. And then I've gone, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot? Uh, and I've invested in one of these. And to be fair, it works reasonably well. Uh, I'm not going to profess and say I'm an expert at doing it by any means at all. But you know what? It, it worked for me. So that front one's about there at that. All I've done is I've just kind of like put the quick grip together. Like I say, there may be one of those magic of the TV moments, which kind of happens in a second. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It literally slid in. Now, the only problem with doing that is you only get one side in. Although, that's close. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to close that up just to get that pin the rest of the way in so that's fine i kind of expected that so much easier when you use one of these things now that's leaning quite heavily on the front i'm gonna to have to find a way of doing the back i think yeah i'm just gonna flip that over 
This is why I'm going to make an absolute dog breakfast of it, and it's just not going to work right. I'm just going to crush the adapter or something. So if we can push that down a little bit more. See, it's slightly off one kit there. That's not what you want. You kind of want it. You want the whole thing lined up. There we go. A bit more like that. There we go. So I kind of need to find a way of knocking that in now as well. Which This is the difficult part, of course, because the moment I hit this is the moment it's going to kind of knock through. So it's going to knock out. So we'll, we'll see how we go. That's not doing too bad. Okay, we'll flip that over. And it's nearly through at that. Problem now, of course, is I've got far too much grease in the way. So that's actually just caught onto that. It's just caught onto the edge of that. So what I could do with that now is just tidy the edge of the my casing up a little bit just nip it in a touch yep. and then we've got to do the back now the back one is traditionally is a lot harder to do you shouldn't be able to do it like that but i have done now the problem with that is it will be slightly sideways and they recommend doing these one one side and the other side rather than doing both one way because then the adapter kind of twists if you do one and one like that it kind of holds itself steady so what i need to do now is i need to find a way of pressurizing it out the back and tapping that in and having eighty nine thousand arms so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and I wish you could see my face right now. My tongue was so far out. Concentration face. So that's almost there now. So it just needs a bit of backward pressure on it. And I reckon we're about there. I wonder if I can... Oh, I wonder if I can do it like that. No. Oh, come on, Steve. I think. How can I do it? I need to push down there. I need to knock it in there. Hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. You get. You kind of get the idea, the hang of it. I'm gonna crack on, and then the last bit I'll do off camera. Um, when I break it. So. And then you just have to check my Instagram for pictures of like broken adapters and stuff like that. So the adapter is is actually very very hardy. It's um very well made. Um, AirTac do put lifetime guarantees on these. Um, don't know if it's transferable, and certainly if you're sticking it in vices and stuff, it's probably not going to be uh warrantable if you over tighten that vice and crack it open. I am being quite careful with this, despite picking it up cheap. So on with the next. So once we've put this bottom end on. Um, and, and you know kind of pinned it together uh, you can put the top end on and the reason that we left the top end off is so that we can actually clamp over it uh, and it's also very silly of me because I'm going to have to take this top end back off to um, to fix this bottom end but the, the long and, and short of it really is we want to fit the feed lips in um, again I tend to put just a lick of grease around the bottom of these feed lips I don't mind a little bit around the edge of them as well. It just helps them go in. Obviously, not in the, the BB stack. Uh, just drop it in. And they just go in super nice. They fit super tight. It's TM on TM on TM. It's always going to fit. It's always going to work. And then you put your little whoop, nearly pin straight through. Just a little nearly pin will fit. Beautiful. And obviously, I will give this a good wipe over when I'm done as well. Probably after I'm done masturbating over it. So, little nearly pins obviously being a bit of a pain now as well. Because it's like, mm, let me be a pain in the ass as well. There we go, little nearly pin. In you go. 
a little nearly pin starts going in, and then ball, ball end of a hammer just knit that quite, quite hard, quite level, quite flat. That goes in, and there you have it. One air tack MK23 abomination. Look at that! Doesn't that look hideous? And then for those absolute sadists, this is an MK. This is a TM MK23. Ah, yeah, won't go in because the pin's just sticking out a little bit. That's annoying. I'll tell you what. Ah, oh, how about that? Mmm, yeah, it looks good enough. Good enough to eat. So there we have it. How to AirTac HPA your MK23. Absolutely recommend it. The MK23 is a fun pistol. All day, every day anyway. And you're only going to have more fun running around with it. HPA up. These things are quiet. These things are quiet. So imagine taking that quietness. You know, people do it. People do them in, in DMR builds and that kind of thing. This isn't DMR build. This is a pistol. I'm going to have a lot of fun shooting people at close range with this. It's only ever going to run up to about 320 FPS. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this thing. So there you go. Thank you very much if you've stuck with me. Thank you very much if you are interested in these AirTac products. I will put a link to the AirTac uh, adapter despite me buying it second hand i will link you to the main product they are there they are available and you can actually order these pre-made ready to go so do have fun with that and uh yeah otherwise please drop my video a like drop me a comment tell me what you like what you don't like about hpa and mk23s and most importantly for me at the moment please do hit that sub button i'm on a little bit of a youtube journey at the moment and i would love you to join along with me I tend to knock out weekly content so um, you can kind of get your airsoft fill. So thank you very much if you're still with me and I will catch you guys in the next one.